everyone. Hey, this is Alex with AFS 401k coming to you for another Money Hack video. And uh, earlier this week, there was an article, I think it was on the site Refinery29, that picked up a lot of steam in the Twitter universe, ultimately went viral, about living in New York City on $25 an hour. And uh, so somebody wrote a piece, posted a piece, on how they're living uh, in the city on $25 an hour, uh, in which a lot of the things that were expenses for them, they put in their budget as zero dollars spent because their parents were covering things like their rent and they were on their parents' cell phone plan. And so um, people went crazy over this article. People were posting that this person, she shouldn't be talking about money uh, or she's you know entitled and doesn't realize how good she has it. And it got me to thinking because we talk a lot about um, living expenses. We're here in the DC area and like New York or San Francisco or a number of other cities around the country, it's expensive. It's an expensive city to live in um, and, and ultimately for young professionals, millennials in particular, balancing that out and having enough money to live on and also get to where you want to be uh, in the future is really challenging. But regardless of your age, income, uh, or geographic location and demographics, getting ahead in your financial life is not easy. And I think a lot of this really revolves around the expense side. So whether you're like the person who posted this article and you're getting support from your parents or family members by way of living with them or them paying for your cell phone bill or your car insurance, or if you're completely on your own, looking at your expenses and identifying which expenses you know, you, you're set with that are fixed, that you're, ha you're that are required to pay every week or month, like your uh, like your rent, like your transportation expenses, student loans or credit cards, as well as those that are things you enjoy, variable expenses. Looking at those and planning those out is really the starting point and the key to getting on track for your financial future. And look, if you're in a situation where you're getting support from a friend or family member by way of rent or utilities or car payments, take advantage of that. I have no judgment on those folks. Take advantage of it. Use the money that you're not spending on rent or, or some of these other expenses to plan for your medium and long-term financial future and set yourself up for the next three, five, 10 plus years. If you're in a position where you don't have that benefit, um, then it really need, means we have to get to work. And we have to think about being positive and optimistic and taking baby steps, identifying small things you can do today to get on track for tomorrow, a week from now, a year from now, and forward when it comes to your financial life. You can do it, um, it's not easy, but it can be pretty simple, and hopefully we can give you some ideas and tips and strategies in order to do that and get on track. Hope this helps for this little uh, rant, um, and I'll see you again in our next Money Hack video. Thanks.